And now that we have the end portal frame and this mysterious item, because we have a monster spawner, we need to go ahead and complete the monster spawner. And that's of course getting the spawner in. What up my roomies and welcome back to the technical guide to Minecraft and today we're going to be continuing our month of discontinued items or rather items you can no longer get or you can never have gotten in vanilla survival. Now first things first is that we want to double check if items are still in here before we upgrade our world and of course there they are the two monster spawners and the two stacks of bedrock and of course we've got our two items the end portal frame which will turn into the end portal frame just, just give me a moment as we upgrade and this mysterious block which we'll get into in a different episode. Now of course the why and why we're doing this well, in the month of discontinued items, we want to get the items that we can't normally get. And the next block that we're going to try to get is spawn eggs. And this is how you do it. So first things first, go to your beta craft folder and then go to instances. Go to your latest one, which in this case is end portal. Then go to dot minecraft. Then go into your saves. And we're going to first back up our world by putting it into a zip file. Now, for the sake of organization, we're going to call this backup too. Have it saved just like that. From here, we're going to go to the discontinue wiki page and then go look up spawn egg. When we click on spawn egg, it'll take us to the spawn egg page, which will then we can see that the version range for this is 11W49 alpha. So with that in mind, we're going to go back to our beta craft launcher, go to instances, and then add instance. From here, we're gonna to go to snapshot and look for 11W49 alpha. Once we found it, we're gonna click on it so it's highlighted, and then we're gonna change the name of our instance to spawn egg. Again, just to keep things kind of organized. From there, we're gonna create and then just run the world once so we can load in all the files that it needs. From here, you'll notice that it's gonna be Minecraft 11W49 alpha, which means if you've done it right, but if you go to our single player, of course our world isn't there. So from here, we're going to go right click our bedrock spawner, we're going to click copy, then go back to the instances, then open up the instance for spawn eggs, go to the down minecraft folder, click on saves, and then we're going to paste it into this folder. Quick interruption, I noticed that only 12% of you are actually subscribed to this channel. Watching this long, I must be doing something right, so if you like this video, hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel. Any support helps and these videos take a bit long to make. Thank you so much and back to the video. And if you've done all of that right, if you go check in single player, our world is now there, just like before. So let's load in. And first things first, we're going to verify that all of our stuff is there. And indeed it is, we've got our two stacks of monster spawners and two bedrock. In addition to that, now we also have our end portal frame. And as you can see, the end portal frame now looks like an end portal frame. As to what exactly this is, well, we'll get to that in a future episode. But for now, we need to go get ourselves some spawn eggs. But how exactly do we do that? Well, actually, it's kind of simple. See, all you gotta do here is press B. And if you look down, all of a sudden, our hunger and our health has now gone. And that's because we are now in creative and survival. It's kind of weird looking back and realizing that this is everything that you can get in Minecraft, say for a couple of things. But if you scroll down, the ones that we are looking for are these, the precious spawn eggs. Now we're gonna grab one of each, mostly because they don't stack on top of each other, at least not yet. And we're gonna just fill our bar up one at a time. Now you might be wondering, why are we accessing the creative menu in survival? I mean, it, doesn't that kind of defeat the point of playing in survival? Well, yes and no, because even though that we are in the creative menu, we're still playing in survival and there's no way of getting these things easy or really at all without being in this version and opening up the creative menu. Now, of course, we're not going to go and grab other stuff because in the end of the day, I like playing Minecraft, but there are certain items like bedrock or monster spawners that we can't get in the normal conventional way with survival play. Sometimes you just got to cheese a game in order to get the stuff that you really need or in this case really want <laughs> so of course we're going to make another line just to show a clear difference between all the different kinds of items and grab all the other spawn eggs so silverfish blazes magma cube pigs sheep cow chicken squid wolf and now we only have two more so let's place these puppies in and lastly but not leastly we'll grab the mushroom as well as the villager 
Now technically we don't need to get the villager egg, but seeing as how we're here, you might as well have one of every type. Now all you gotta do is get out of the creative menu, and yeah, we're pretty much done with this version of Minecraft, and I, I really can't wait till I can get this crosshair off my face, but at the very least, we can see my face, so... You know, there's always there to do that. Otherwise, we just use Piggy over there to do it for us, which uh, took a lot longer than I, I want to admit. But yes, now that we've done all of that, it's time to go to our next course of action, and that is the Infinity Mending Bow. 